All right, let's see if we can knock this one out. Um, it's way different than what I thought it was in the beginning. You know, I thought it was just your standard old A minor 7 to D minor 7. But it's not. Typical Hendrix, nothing never see is what it seems. But uh, the first thing I wanted to tell you is that it's tuned to E. This is one of the tunes where he is, his guitar is in E, and it's also a sharp E. So if, to, if you want to play with the record, I you know A440 is standard tuning, standard pitch, concert pitch. And I have my guitar tuned to A447, so it's a little bit sharp. And the other thing that Jimmy does a lot in this song is play with the speed on his Univibe. I've got my pedal down here, but it's kind of awkward to do the lesson and the pedal at the same time. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit of that at the end, but let me see if I get at the right speed here. He changes it a couple of times. But remember the D7 chord that I said. A7, D7, minor. Well, it's a it's a D7 minor, but it's a different form. It's down here. And the D minor uh, ninth. those two chords you pretty much got the whole song and, and this uh, F here is real important he hits that a lot Okay, well let's start out from the beginning here. Let me get the right speed. So it's pretty simple in the beginning. It's just your E, D, and G string. The octave. It took me a while. For for a while, I was trying to do it. Jump up period. But he hits this note in here. He goes. He, he hit one, two, three. Sounds like he's using his fingers, so. So, but for a while I tried, it was so fast of a jump up here that I tried it like this. You 
might like it like that. But just recently, I just switched to this. Whoops. Instead of doing the uh, down here on the, the A and D string, I do it up here on the E and A string. And then you skip a string, and it's like. So that's G and E string, this is D and B, and this is A and G. Well, he does that too. it's so difficult that you'll get the song to where it sounds good and, and just do your own thing but he always changes his hammer-ons and notes he plays see that's that F how he makes the songs interesting you know it's pretty basic but it changes it so much <laughs> in two parts so that uh, you can work on this for a while and then I'll go to that part you know we're good <laughs> Thank you. 
Probably didn't explain it as good as I should, but let me go back over that last little part. That's that's a tricky one where it goes. I think he almost up picks it there. You can hit the open D or you can hit the D twice there. Then go to the F after that. Then hit the open E and then the G and the A.